Hi guys, we're going to do today a some work on a city in South Africa where Flavio is from uh, and the city's called Cape Town and this city ran out of water. So I'll just get my pen. Oh, did I work? Oh yeah, works. Anyway, I just crossed it out. But Cape Town is a big city in uh, South Africa. It's, it's like Sydney. And it actually ran out of water. So what we're saying today is Cape Town was facing the possibility of taps running dry by May 2018. So taps not being able to provide water to household households is called day zero. So they... So you just imagine no water coming out of your uh, household tap. Uh, that's what happened in uh, Cape Town. So it was a really serious problem and they didn't know what to do about it. So we, I, I would want you to watch this YouTube clip and don't watch it yet. Wait, finish this video first. So you're going to answer the questions once you have looked at that clip. Now you want to know, we're going to say where, now I'm, I'm putting a Google Doc with this. So you answer on the Google Doc and you submit that as soon as you're ready. Okay. So the first thing we want to know is where is Cape Town? And of course that's in South Africa. Uh, we want to know how many years has the city been in drought. Now, drought is the lack of water. Uh, how many people do the dams supply water to? Now, make sure you listen carefully to the video to find out how many people uh, are supplied by the water. Now, when were severe water restrictions uh, introduced? So make sure you listen out for that because they had different levels of water restrictions and we had the same thing here where you couldn't water uh, after 10 o'clock in the morning you couldn't use a hose. Remember we, we had to use buckets and things like that. So that's exactly what Cape Town had to do. The next question, how much water are people of Cape Town able to use each day? Listen on the video for that. How much is the average Australian using per day? And remember your water audit and how much uh, our, your families are using. But listen to the video to find that out. Um, and the next one, under the restrictions, how many litres of water per person per day is used? Describe the appearance of the garden that you are shown and why do you think everyone's water usage is publicly available? Why do, why do you think that? Why is it publicly available? You just think about what we're going through now and um, people reporting other people but uh, and the importance of looking after uh, water, looking after your country. And how has the water, last one, how has the water restrictions impacted the family that we are shown? So impacted means how has it affected their family? How has it changed the way they are? Next bit, why is Cape Town facing a water crisis? So, What's happened to the population? Why do they actually, why isn't there enough water? What did the government fail to do? Okay, see if you can find that out. What did they fail to do? What should they have done to make sure that there was enough water? How do people top up their daily water allowance? Uh, what will happen if day zero happens? That is, if water actually runs out. How, where, where will they go for water? Think about it here. What would you do if there was no water in our taps? Where would you go for for running water? Uh, and what are some issues that the deputy mayor is afraid of because of the water crisis and the lack of groundwater? Remember that under the the groundwater water re so lakes rivers. Water reuse and desalination are blamed for the, this crisis. Is this true or false? So is it is water reuse and desalination the problem here? Is that true or false? Next bit is saving water. What is the role of water police? So that's what it's come down to, uh, that the police have to actually look after how much water is used. Do you think people understand the seriousness of the drought? And that's all in the video. And does the police 
officer believe there is progress with the water restrictions? Does he really think that, thing, that people are changing? And what requests does Charlene ask of her clients to bring to sell them? Uh, the last, the last one. A quarter of Cape Town's population live in informal settlements. Why is water and sanitation such an issue for such towns? So look at what informal settlements are. Now they're not houses like you and I live in. Informal settlements. Make sure you look at the video and find out what they are. Put all of your answers as much as you can on the Google Doc. If you can't do them all and you don't understand it, please do not worry. Just do what you can and put your Google Doc in. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.